Hi guys, Cortex back again today, and then what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to install non-auto installing Call of Duty World at War PC zombie maps. So when you download the zombie maps from the internet, you either get an exe or a .zip file or a .rar file or something to do with like an extraction program like WinRAR or 7zip. When you install the one, when you download the ones that are auto installers, you click it, it installs itself, you click finish, it's done. But like I said before, you get ones that are like this, where are for example, this is a zip file, because I'm using WinRAR, but you know, you use 7-zip or any other uncompressing program. So when you do download these, get them in a location that you're comfortable with, either your downloads folder or desktop or anything like that, and simply just open it, and you'll see inside the folder you'll have the map. So if you open that one, you have all the map data inside. So to keep all that the same, go back, you know, there's your WinRAR file, open it, and there's your zombie map. So what you're going to do is just keep this open, either on a different screen or just like in the corner of your first screen, just keep, it, keep your eye on it. And then open another folder, which is just you, f you straight up that, like your um, this PC folder, my computer, or anything like that. It's just for, I'm, I'm on Windows 8.1, so it's this PC. So under this tab, you'll have all your your desktop and you know all your hard drives. So click on this PC, my computer, or anything like that. And in top top right hand corner, you'll see search this PC or search my computer or something along the lines of that. Just click it and simply type Activision. Once you've typed Activision, you'll notice there's a green bar at the top which is loading. And throughout this duration of the loading bar, you'll see folders and images and all different kinds of uh, programs pop up here. So you want to just do it, what you want to do is just wait for this bar to load. As you can see, there's an Activision folder, but I, uh, I have Call of Duty 4 as well as World at War, so this is a Call of Duty 4 folder. You can tell by the way it just says Activision. When the Call of Duty 4, when the Call of Duty World of War folders load, as they have now, you'll see we have di different variations. We have C users Cortex App Data Local, C users Cortex App Data Local Virtual Store Programs at 86. So what you want to do is actually follow in the one that is just App Data slash Local. It's not very long. It's just C or E or whatever drive you've got here. The users Cortex App Data Local. So just double click on this and you'll be confronted with two folders. If you don't have two folders here, you actually need to run Call of Duty World at War first. In case you haven't, if you haven't actually run the game, you won't get these folders. You need to run the game, um, and then close the game, obviously, after. So once you've loaded this, once you've loaded this folder, you have two folders, card, which is empty, and card World at War. So open the Call of Duty World at War folder, and in between there, in there, you'll have two folders, mods and players. Here is the profiles, where it's all your online profiles. And then you have another folder called mods. Simply open this, and every single mod that you have is in here. And then it's as simple as click on this folder. Here we go. Drag it into the mods folder. I already have it installed, as you can obviously see, but you won't get this. And there you go. Drag, drop, installed. It's easy as that. And then just close, close, and launch the game. And you're all good. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If it did help, make sure you drop a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Also, check out my live streams. I live stream every day. It will be in the description below, along with all the links to everything else. If you've got any questions, if you didn't work, anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll definitely get to them, and I'll, hand and I'll answer them as soon as possible. But thank you once again for watching this video. Have a good day, guys. Peace.